The most important consideration when choosing a location is whether the site can provide a good line of sight towards the Mio Arc. Once you have the location selected, ensure you have a stable base and use a spirit level to check its level. The dual mount is shipped in a single wooden box. Open the box. Make sure the box has all the included components. Place the two non-slip rubber protective mats on the ground where the ballast trays will go. Ensure the mats are placed in a north-south alignment. Using the provided hardware, join the two ballast trays together. At this point, do not fully tighten the hardware. Identify the correct orientation of the tube from the holes. The holes in the lower arm tube are slightly offset Identifying this will ensure you bolt the brace mounting tabs in the correct location. Attach two brace mounting tabs to the top of the lower arm tubes. Attach two foot assemblies to one of the lower arm tubes. Repeat for the second lower arm tube. Place two lower arm assemblies into the ballast trays. Secure each assembly to the tray. Ensure the brace mounting tabs previously installed should be towards the outside of the frame. At this point, join the two upper support tubes together. Repeat for the second upper arm tube. Before attaching the mask pipes, double check to ensure the ballast trays are placed in a perfect north-south alignment. Why is this important? We want to ensure that the largest mast pipe is at the rear of the mount so the rear antenna can look over the front antenna. With the mount pointing in a perfect north-south alignment, the rear mast should be the tallest with the shortest mast pipe closest to the equator. If you are in the northern hemisphere, the taller mast will be the closest to the north pole. If you are in the southern hemisphere, the tallest mast pipe will be the closest to the south pole. Remember, the short pole is always closest to the equator wherever you are. Attach the upper arms and mast pipes to the lower arms. Attach two brace mounting tabs to the upper arms. Attach the diagonal braces, making sure the slotted ends of the braces attach to the mast pipe. Secure the other end of each diagonal brace to the brace mounting tab. Attach the inner mast brace, again making sure the slotted end of the brace attaches at the mast pipe. Secure the other end of each brace to the mounting tab. At this point, fully tighten all ballast tray bolts. The mount is now assembled. Do a final check to make sure the mount is in a north-south alignment. Install the required ballast onto the mount. Proceed to install the antennas. 